I can't believe he got me a cheap dress and some crappy flowers. And no limo. What was he thinking? I'm so excited that we're going to the father-daughter dance. Thanks for taking me, Dad. Hey, honey. I am so excited about the father-daughter dance tonight. Here you go. I got you a new dress. Thanks, Dad. I'm almost ready. Wait, what is this? Casual 41? I can't be seen wearing a cheap dress from Casual 21. I'm so sorry, honey. I thought you'd like it. Like it? I hate it. All the other girls are going to be wearing designer dresses. And I'm going to be stuck wearing this cheap brand. Thanks a lot, Dad. This is going to ruin everything. I'm so sorry, honey. But at least you have a new dress, right? Some girls probably don't even get that. What does that have anything to do with me? I'm going to go change. Wait here. Okay, sweetie. Wow, you look so beautiful. Yeah, whatever, Dad. Let's just go. Before we go, I bought you this. You've got to be kidding me. This corsage looks so cheap. And there's only like three flowers on it. But I thought that was your favorite flower. Yeah, but all the other girls are going to have six or seven flowers. I wanted something nicer than this. This is seriously turning into such a disaster. But listen, some girls out there, they don't even... Save it, Dad. I won't even wear a corsage, okay? Let's just go. Wait, what is this? I thought we were taking a limo. Oh, well, I thought we could drive to the dance instead. It's not that far. No, I told you I wanted a limousine. All the other girls are going to be taking one, and I can't show up in my dad's car. That's so embarrassing. So where's the limo? I'm sorry, honey. I didn't want to tell you this. But recently, I got laid off from my job, and money has been really tight lately. Dad, please do not tell me you didn't order us a limo. I'm really sorry. I didn't. I can't believe this. First, you buy me this crappy dress. Then, you give me some cheap flowers. And now, you didn't even order me a limo. Honey, a lot of girls out there don't have any of these things. What matters most is that we're together, right? Don't you think you should be grateful for what you have? No. This is seriously the worst night ever. You know what? I don't want to go to this stupid dance anymore. Come on, sweetheart, please. Don't be like that. I hope you know you ruined everything. I just want to be alone right now. Honey. I can't believe he got me a cheap dress and some crappy flowers. And no limo. What was he thinking? I'm so excited that we're going to the father-daughter dance. Thanks for taking me, Dad. You're welcome, sweetheart. Is everything okay? I can tell when you're sad. No, everything's fine. I just wish. Dad, what's wrong? Why are you so sad? I was just... I just feel like such a bad father. I really wanted to make this day very special for you. Dad, what do you mean? Today is special for me. I really wanted you to have a new dress. I'm so sorry I couldn't afford one for you. I feel terrible that you have to wear the same dress that you wore last year. Dad, are you kidding? I love this dress. And I wouldn't care if I had to wear the same one again next year, too. Besides, there are some girls that don't even have a dress to wear to the dance. Thank you, honey. I wish I could afford more than one flower for your corsage. I know all the other girls are going to have... Dad, please. I love my corsage, even with one flower. What matters is that you got it for me, not how many flowers it has. Thank you, sweetheart. I just wish we didn't have to take the bus. I wish I had a car. 
that I could drive you to the dance in. Dad, I'm happy to take the bus. Do you know why? Because I'm with you. The dress, the corsage, the car, none of that matters. What matters is that we're together. I'm grateful for what I have. Honey, what did I do to deserve a daughter like you? I love you very much. I love you too, Dad. Dad? Lisa, you're home. I was so worried about you, sweetie. Yeah, I shouldn't have run off like that. I feel so bad about everything. I just wanted this night to be special for you, and I didn't want to ruin it. So, I ordered us a limousine. Really, Dad? But how? I thought you couldn't afford it. Yeah, well, I use my credit card. And once I find another job, I'll be able to pay it off. Actually, Dad, I don't need a limo to take us to the dance. But I don't understand. I thought that's what you wanted. It was, uh, but not anymore. I'm really sorry, Dad, about everything. Yeah, I feel so bad about what I said earlier. I just got so obsessed with the dress, the flowers, and the limo that I forgot about the one thing that really matters. Having you, Dad. Do you think you can forgive me? Of course, sweetie. I'm so proud of you. I can't tell you how much this means to me. So, what should I do about the limo? You can go ahead and cancel it, Dad. I'm more than happy with you driving me to the dance. And with my three flowers, I'm grateful for everything I have. Oh, sweetheart, I love you so much. I love you too, Dad. Now let's go. I would love that. This is seriously turning into such a disaster. To be a disaster. It means a situation that causes damage or death. It also means an unhappy moment. The examples. News of the disaster shocked the whole world. It would be a disaster for me if I lost my job. All the other girls are going to be taking one, and I can't show up in my dad's car. To show up. It means to arrive, usually where someone is waiting for you. The examples. I waited for her, but she never showed up. Eric showed up apologizing for being late. But recently... I got laid off from my job. To lay off. It means to ask someone to stop working because of a bad economic situation in a company. The examples. The company laid off 250 workers in December. Millions of people have been laid off in the steel industry. First, you buy me this crappy dress. Then, you give me some cheap flowers. To be crappy. It means to be unpleasant or of very bad quality. The examples. It's been a crappy meeting, so I'm going to bed early. He had a series of crappy jobs. Yeah, I shouldn't have run off like that. To run off. It means to leave suddenly and unexpectedly. The examples. She ran off before I had a chance to talk to her. Anne's husband ran off and left her with two children to bring up. I just got so obsessed with the dress, the flowers... To be obsessed with. It means to think or worry about something all the time. The examples. Why are people so obsessed with money? The kids are obsessed 
with video games. Hi there, ma'am. My name is Dan, and I'm the chef of this restaurant. I don't care about your life story. Do you know who I am? Yes, I do. Oh, Mary is being so extra right now. I mean, what's so hard about figuring out a wedding? I mean, when you pick out a husband, if you had to choose between a basketball player or a pop star, you choose the basketball player. I mean, they're taller, which is better for the gene pool, huh? Oh my God, if she picks another rapper. Well, Rose, I have got to go. I am exhausted from all the shopping. I'll talk to you later, Toodles. Excuse me, is anybody working here? Yes, ma'am. Hi. Oh, oh my goodness. Are you... I am... I'm your biggest fan. Be an adult and not make a scene. As you can expect, I am not used to this kind of behavior. Of course. I... I am so sorry. I can provide that for you. In all honesty, you should have shown up by the time I sat down. So please don't be late again, okay? Of course. Yes, but I'm here now. So can I start you off with a drink order? I mean, that's your job, isn't it? Okay, I will have chilled water with a perfectly sliced piece of lemon. Do not forget the lemon. No, of course not. I will get you the best slice of lemon out there. Where do you think you're going? Well, I was going to go put that order in. I'm ready to order my food. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you had a chance to look at the menu. I don't look at menus. In fact, I don't even care what's on the menu. I'm going to have a filet mignon medium rare and... Oh, I'm sorry. This is a vegan restaurant. What does that have to do with me? Well, because we... I want a steak, a filet mignon. So you're going to get that for me and you're going to figure it out. Well, the issue is, we don't have any meat on the premises. Look, I have a shoot in 35 minutes, and this is the only restaurant within 10 miles of this awful location that the director chose. Well, I need to get that director fired. Yes, yes, of course. Anyway. I need 30 minutes to properly digest my food, so I'm going to need you to get on that quickly. And if you don't, then... I'm going to tweet to my 100 million followers that this restaurant tastes like dog's breath. Uh, of course, ma'am. I will get your filet mignon to you as soon as I can. Or it's ridiculous, and it's like no one wants to pull their weight anymore. Hey, Dan, we have a bit of a problem out here. Problem? What do you mean? Amber Jones is dining with us today. No way, that's so great. Yeah, I thought so too. But the thing is, she's insisting we give her a filet mignon. And she says that if we don't give her a steak, she's going to tweet that our restaurant tastes like a dog's breath, which, like, doesn't even make sense to me. Sarah, that's impossible. We don't have any meat. This is a vegan kitchen. I tried to tell her that, but she kept insisting. And, you know, these Hollywood people, they don't take no for an answer. They just... Assume they're going to get everything that they want. Yeah, I guess we could, uh, maybe serve some tofu and tell it's steak. We can't do that. That's lying. She'll sue us. Yeah, yeah, no. We can't do that. It's a bad idea, you know? Yeah, the only thing you can do is tell the truth. Yeah, and whatever happens, happens. But don't worry about doing it. I can tell her, and you've taken enough for today. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Hi there, ma'am. My name is Dan, and I'm the chef of this restaurant. I don't care about your life story. Do you know who I am? Yes, I do. So you know what I'm capable of? Yes, I do. Okay, so I don't understand what's so hard about a simple request. Ma'am, this is a vegan restaurant. We don't have meat here. And we can't make it just magically appear. The incompetence I have to deal with daily is just astounding. Especially 
here. So, you know what? I think your business is about to go out of business. Just one tweet from me and it's all over. That's it. Please, this is a family-owned restaurant. It's been in my family for generations. Please, I'm practically begging you. Hey, don't worry about it, Dan. Okay, if I were you, I wouldn't send that tweet, Amber. And why would I do that? Because I filmed this little interaction and I posted it online and it went viral. And let's just say your fans are not too happy with the way you treat small businesses. Sponsors are dropping like flies. You little weasel. Do you know what this is going to do to my brand? Maybe next time, you should think about being a little kinder to people. I have to go talk to my crisis manager right now because of you. Wow, Sarah. Thank you so much. That was such quick thinking. Of course. Don't mention it. I wasn't going to let you lose this restaurant. Oh, um, well, sorry. Excuse me. Oh, wow, Sarah. There are so many orders right now. People are ordering to show their appreciation for the restaurant. We're flooded with requests. Well, what are we doing out here? Let's get in the kitchen and cook. I mean, when you pick out a husband, if you had to choose between a basketball player or a pop star... To pick out. It means to recognize something or somebody, or... Choose among different people or things in a group. Examples. Can you pick out the three mistakes in this paragraph? She picked out a pink shirt for me to try on. In all honesty, you should have shown up by the time I sat down. To show up. It means to arrive at the place. It also means to arrive where someone is waiting for you. The examples. I invited him for 8 o'clock, but he didn't show up until 9.30. I waited for her, but she never showed up. I need 30 minutes to properly digest my food. To digest. It means to change food that you have eaten into substances that your body can use. The examples. Some babies can't digest cow's milk. I find that I don't digest meat easily. And, you know, these Hollywood people, they don't take no for an answer. To take no for an answer. It means to not allow someone to refuse what you have offered. The examples. I've told Steve I'm not interested, but he keeps asking me out. Ugh, he won't take no for an answer. If you're a salesman, you have to learn how to not take no for an answer. The incompetence I have to deal with daily is just astounding. To be astounding. It means very surprising or shocking. The examples. The concert was an astounding success. She had an astounding talent for painting realistic portraits. Or it's ridiculous, and it's like no one wants to pull their weight anymore. To pull your weight, it means to do your share of work or an activity. The examples. He accused me of not pulling my weight. The others had complained that Sarah wasn't pulling her weight. <laughs>